M0FXB, welcome to my channel. If you look here on the left, we are tracking the ISS space station live, and we can actually communicate with that when it's above us. If you look on the right hand side here, we've got the Quanshen UVK5, K6, and all the other models programming software here, and we've entered the frequencies, and yes, it will receive on one band, 70 centimeters, and transmit on two meters, which enables us to contact the satellite. So what happens, we talk, the satellite repeats the signal down to all the other people trying to contact it. So you'll hear several stations all trying to contact the satellite at the same time. Now, the problem is that as the satellite moves towards you, it's at one frequency, and because of the Doppler shift, as it moves away, it's at other frequencies. So what I've done here is added six frequencies, and this should enable you to, to hear the satellite coming towards you and moving away, and at the same time, fingers crossed, you can quickly put your call sign in and hopefully make a contact. So these are the frequencies here. I will uh, be saving this code plug and I will send it to anyone that asks for it. Just email me on QRZ. And of course, my code plug is quite, quite small. I've got my favorite repeaters and some simplex channels and then I've got these satellite channels. So, it, you know, this you will have to, um, you know, bear that in mind that this is my code plug, but all the frequencies are here. So if you look at the first one here, 437, Eight one hundred. Now, I would, I would normally put that in at number one. Actually, let's get it right. Four three seven eight one five hundred. I would normally put that at number one. Okay, but I, you know, I already have memory channels. Uh, then we transmit on one four four nine five hundred with a sixty seven tone. Ignore what it says here on the right. I'm not sure why the co plug does that. If we go into the channel, the number one channel. There's the. I've given the channel name the same as the frequency, so I, so I know where I am. And then there's the receive frequency, 4378150. But when we transmit, when we key the mic, we've got 1449500 with a CT CSS tone there of 67. I put it on high power, okay? And the other channels, they are different. As you can see, I'll click them all one at a time. This is the what we call number two. 4378100 and 1459925 and so on there's the next one the number 3 channel same tone for transmit 144 this one is at 9145999000 and there's another one so i'll do another video where i incorporate the radio and you can actually see it at the end of this video, I will show the radio receiving and transmitting, but we can't do anything until the satellite is above us. So, you know, thanks for watching my channel. I mean, it's just fantastic. And you, could, you can do this with the Bofung and many other models of radios as well. It's just that the UV5, the UV K5, K6, you know, these models, uh, everyone is purchasing them at the moment. And it makes sense to, to have a go at this. And a friend of mine did send me a video showing him doing this and I thought oh let's uh, let's really go into this and look closer at the frequencies that are being used different satellites are on different frequencies but you know it's great fun just monitoring anything to do with satellites is is as from a radio hobby point of view is great fun and you know this program this ISS tracker which is you know I mean look at it it's just fantastic so it looks like it's going to be over me no it looks like it's not going to be over me the nearest to me is going over sort of France, Germany there um, on this curve. But, you know, keep an eye out and you can have, add an app to your phone and you will get notifications when it's near you. I will put a linking for this, this programming software as well. This one is called Portable Radio CPS. You can use Chirp. Uh, I'm going to make a separate video using Chirp. Uh, but you know at the moment I've got this so but yeah next video same thing but using chirp thanks for watching my channel and uh, catch you on air remember to like and subscribe if you find my videos helpful 73 all the best so at the UV K6 or K5 you put the highest frequency and I, I've noticed that these radios don't really like transmitting on high power uh, they tend to get a bit glitchy so probably better on medium power but anyway let's go to the highest one which is 17. So as it's coming towards you and you start trying to call, you transmit, and there it is there, 144950, and you call secure secure via ISS satellite, M0FXB, 
uh, and so on and then do the same thing as you cycle through the channels now interestingly I just thought just out of interest now if I go back to VFO mode and then type in those one of those frequencies four three seven um, eight one five I think is the problem we've got is creating the shift I think the shift is probably creatable for when you TX but for listening that would be okay wouldn't it uh, but you don't you need to create work out that with your maths the shift so you can do this in VFO mode and then you would go because you can change the shift on these radios you've got shift direction on menu seven remember the numbers the first number is the menu number and then the offset if you worked out the offset but you also you could get it to transmit on that just exit and then you could go f5 and you're in the sort of now that frequency looks so no four three seven eight one five we want so you just go the way to enter an actual frequency is to go five four three seven hit the star then the rest eight one five and then m so you're on the exact frequency see it's not really keeping it you know what i mean um if we press this one the ptt let's see if it will let us go we can scroll up and down I'm just holding the down arrow look so it will get there that's more for experimentation i would say then you go f5 put the frequency that's come out completely has come out completely and just put the scoping so I'm just wondering if you can sort of scan it as it flies over f5 you've got the spectrum you've got the range that it's showing along the bottom here look see that can't remember actually how to change that range but anyway the main thing is with memory channels and uh, yeah more to learn on this uh, it's you know it's amazing what you can do with this little thing isn't it bye for now 73